Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today on Tool Talk episode 5 we're going into a product I really don't suggest anybody purchase. Uh, I've had these for a while but I just had them rolled up and thrown in a cabinet because I was highly disappointed uh, in the quality. But I'm going to go ahead and sell them and just use whatever money I get from them and all the other cheap tools that I've bought in the past that I regret. I'm just going to sell all of that and focus on buying good quality tools. Uh, probably the money with these I will put towards more Nipex pliers just because those are about as good as you can possibly get. You don't really hear complaints about those. So I'm going to do a real quick overview on this set of Nyko Renico pliers. Uh, they're the long reach ones. And uh, hopefully with this review, you guys will see how bad these pliers are and you guys stay away from them as well. They might be good for a do-it-yourselfer if you really don't care about the quality, but I'm sure most people still want a pretty decent uh, set of pliers. Uh, even the Pittsburgh pliers are much nicer than these. That's how bad these are. Uh, so if you have this plier set and you enjoy them, Maybe your set is much nicer than mine, but mine is not good at all. So let's take a look at these. And if you enjoyed this review, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so this is the Nyko or Nico Tools nine piece, 11 inch long reach plier set, part number 02114 alpha. Uh, and I would not suggest these to anybody, especially not a professional. Uh, do it yourself or might be satisfied with these possibly but really I couldn't have been more disappointed in these pliers uh, when I got them um, my plan is to sell these and uh, this set runs forty dollars so extremely cheap uh, this is about as cheap as it gets actually uh, comparing these to even my Pittsburgh pliers uh, the Pittsburgh's are much better than these. So my plan is to sell this set and even though I'll probably only get enough money for one pair of Nipex pliers, I think it will be a great trade-off. That's how much I am disappointed in this plier set. But let's get into it. Uh, so here's the part number once again. It does come in this nice little roll case. Everything's got its little pouch and velcro. So they did a nice job on the bag or the roll but the pliers are just absolutely horrible. Um, just grabbing these pliers, I can put very light pressure on them and just easily pinch these together. Uh, extremely soft metal. I'm afraid if I use them, they're definitely gonna break. Uh, as you can tell, definitely not a good job lining these up. It's cut extremely horribly probably can't catch it in the camera but the handles are extremely wavy the rubber on the handles are actually pretty nice that's about the nicest thing about them uh, but even the Pittsburgh pliers I at least have to put some force into squeezing these together uh, whereas these are really easy to squeeze together and the heads are already closed so even in the Pittsburgh ones get you a little bit better one so as you can see they're cut pretty decently they're obviously not the best they're still cheap pliers these are Pittsburgh but they're still much stronger than this set uh, I have other Nico or Nyko products such as some of their uh, bit sockets and stuff and I actually really like those but their pliers I would definitely stay away from Take a look at these hose pliers. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it is cut horribly. Uh, this one side is extremely thick. It's kind of got a sharp edge right there. If you guys can tell that circle is just horrible. The, the teeth don't even touch here uh, because they didn't cut these properly. Look at the back side now. One side is is extremely fat the other side is super thin and you get three different sizes and they're all exactly the same way all extremely easy to compress 
here's the largest one. So you can really see just how awkwardly shaped they are. They're just cut extremely horrible. Uh, they're all marked, yes, they're China, obviously. That's why they are the way they are. Uh, there's no rust resistant coating on these. You can kind of see the crappy cut there as well. But those are the hose clamp pliers. The ones that I really were considering keeping were the duck bills, but they're extremely fat actually, and still really easy to uh, compress. But they open pretty smoothly. But another one that I was really gonna, or thought I would enjoy, is these long dikes. But if you take a look here, where they've cut to open them up, it's not round. It doesn't open up all the way, and when opening and closing them, they feel like the metal is just binding on each other, opening and closing. So, <laughs> yes, this one's got a rust-resistant coating on it. But overall, these pliers are, I would not recommend these to anybody. Here's just their long uh, needle nose, straight. Not much for teeth in there whatsoever. And then here's, I don't even know what you would call that, an S. I'm not sure if it's made like that on purpose or if it's just supposed to be a shorter version of <laughs> these. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure these are made on purpose, but if you can see just the way they shape these, they're just horrible. Can't even open those if you can hear that. Because the metal on each handle is really grinding against each other. And it's like that on all of these pliers. So I would definitely suggest not purchasing these uh, for anybody. So I just want to let you guys know that if you're thinking about buying a long reach plier set and you're just a do-it-yourselfer, I would still just stay away from these. Uh, here you can kind of see they don't even match up. I'll kind of show you the teeth in there if you can see them. But here the teeth kind of come outside of the pliers and they just don't line up. So just a quick review on the Nico or Nico uh, long reach plier set 02114 Alpha. Definitely uh, just doing this review so you guys know to stay away from this set. Go ahead and get yourself some good quality pliers. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going through all of my tools, finding the stuff that I don't like, the cheap stuff, and I'm selling it and putting it towards a better quality tool. Uh, I bought these when I first uh, started getting tools and didn't really know much. And this is just one of the purchases that I regret. So I'm going to let you guys know so you guys don't end up buying something like this that you'll regret. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, YouTubers, so that was my quick little overview. I think that was around six or seven minutes of uh, just showing you how disappointed I am in those pliers. Uh, like I stated, I'm going to be selling them for a better, uh, you know, set of pliers uh, because I do need some more long reach ones for my work box. Uh, I'm not going to take my Pittsburgh ones or anything to my work box. I want to get some good Nipex pliers. So that's my plan. So even if I can only afford to get one pair of Nipex pliers from selling that entire set, I'm perfectly happy with that. I think it's a fair trade-off. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope uh, this keeps other people from purchasing this set if you're thinking about buying a long-reach uh, plier set. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys had a great 4th. I know this is a few days late, but I hope you guys had a great weekend. And uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.